So this is the third part. This is 8.3. This is our third objective. This is the one where you have to create your own system of equations, and then you're just going to type them into Desmos like we saw before. So we've got to create the word problems. You can see the answers on the side here. A lot of this is actually just kind of reading here. This and is very close to add. So we've got 2p add 3a. The cost part means that's what it's equal to, and then we can just write that in there. And then similar thing with that second line. As we're typing this into Desmos, we're just going to put this as X and we're going to put this as Y. And if you forget which is which, it might not be a bad idea just to write them down. So if the question asks you about how much does a peach cost, you can see the P lines up with the X value here. Or if it did say what does an, uh, an apricot cost, then you can see that the A refers to the Y value. Now, when you type it into the system, you're actually going to get 0 0.5 and 0 0.4. So just be very careful you don't think that that's actually 5 cents, that would obviously be 0 0.05. Remember they cut off the end zero to round these answers. So just take a little bit of care as you're looking for answers. As this one just says how much does a peach cost, we're only interested in that first answer. And you should check that on Desmos just to make sure that you agree with that answer. Second question, the bag contains 18 coins, they're either dimes or quarters. If the total value, total means you're going to add them together, of the coins is $3.45, how many dimes were there and how many quarters were there? So I'm going to use D and Q for this question because I'm talking about dimes and quarters. And I know the number of dimes add the number of quarters must be the number of coins, which I can see is 18. Now the part about the value here, I've got to think about the value of the individual coins and the total value. So I know a dime is 10 cents and I know a quarter is 25 cents. And notice I didn't go ahead and put $3.45. As I did cents, cents, this also needs to be in cents as well. So $3 would be 300 pennies. And if you add the other 45, you would get 345 pennies in total or 345 cents. So that's one you've certainly got to be careful of when you're doing these questions. Same thing, I'm going to be typing in this though as X and Y rather than D and Q. And once you type it in, you should find the answer comes out as 7 and 11. The first letter refers to dimes, the second refers to the quarters, therefore the answer for this question will just be the number of quarters you can see, which is 11. Third question talks about a high school charging a certain amount of money for different tickets, $6 for adult tickets, $4 for student tickets. So this is our variables now, A and S for how many tickets we have. We know Mr. Ferris first has 12 tickets some students and some adults, and they were $64 in total. How many tickets did he buy? So one thing we definitely know is the total number of tickets is 12, as in the number of adult tickets and the number of student tickets is 12. We then look at the value of them kind of like the coins. What do we know about an adult ticket? It's $6. What do we know about student tickets? They're $4. And what does it equal? $64. This one's kind of easier because these are all dollar amounts, so we didn't need to convert from one to another. As you type this in on Desmos, you should check that you get the answer 84. And as our x value comes first, when we get our coordinate, x corresponds to a. So we're interested in how many adults, so eight adults. Once again, check on Desmos just to make sure you're agreeing with this answer. Jay bought a total of 16 bottles of drinks for his team. The drink was either a bottle of soda or a bottle of juice. And I think there's a slight mistake on this one. I think that's supposed to say a bottle of water here. Let me change that. There we go. Bottle of water or a bottle of juice, because he says $2.25 on a bottle of water, and he spent $3.50 on a bottle of juice. If he spent $40, $43.50, how many of each did he buy? So I'm gonna use, I can't use B for bottle because they're both bottles. So I'm gonna focus on what they are, water and juice. So the number of bottles of water, number of bottles of juice, equals the total number of bottles, 16. Then I'm gonna focus on the numeric values. How much was water? How much was juice? How much did you spend in total? Same thing as you're typing them into Desmos. Don't put W and J, put X and Y. The first one is gonna be your X, second one's gonna be your Y. So when the answer comes out as 10, six, which you should check, as the question says, how much juice was purchased? I know I'm interested in the second value, so I would be interested in this value here. And our last question. A school spent $2,050 to buy opera tickets for 30 students and five adult chaperones. Adult tickets cost $25 more than student tickets. 
if A is the price of an adult ticket and S is the price of a student ticket, how much did the adult tickets cost and how much did the student tickets cost? So, slightly different question for this one because we don't actually know the prices of each one like we did before, but we just know that one costs more than the other. So, if I know that the adult tickets cost $25 more than the student tickets, that means that if I know the price of the student's ticket and I add 25 to it, it would give me the price of the adult ticket. Now, you could think of it as the other way around. If I know the adult ticket and take away 25, that would give me the price of the student ticket. Both of those would be perfectly good for first equations. Now, let's see which one I actually went with. Actually, I put both there, so we've got the choice. We can use either which one we want. But the second equation, we don't really have many choices for. We know that 30 students went to this, and we know five adult chaperones went to this. And we know for those people to go, that when that comes to a total of $2,050. So 30S plus 5A equals 2050. And you could do the same thing for this, 5A plus 30S is 2050. Whichever one of these you type in, you should get a 55 and 80. Depending which way round you did it, and that's why you have to pay attention to this question, you can figure out which one is the adult one and which one is the student price. Now actually remember it said adult tickets cost 25 more, so not surprisingly this would be the adult price, 80, and then the student price would be 55. So sometimes reading the question can also give you some free information on these questions. So just pay attention to the questions, try and learn those few key methods that you saw in the lesson. And there is another video you could go back and watch which has all those key examples in before. And then you should be ready for the test for this unit.